Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. And yes, due to scheduling conflict, I have to do it from home again this week. Saturday, February 27th, right at the end of the month, the moon will be full once again. Going all the way back to the notable Halloween, we've had our full moon right near the end of the month. And with a short month, well, it's working again. Drought from last week to this week actually shows some significant increase in soil moisture. I'm guessing we've had uh, enough snow melt underneath that the instruments are picking it up. So if you look at last week, take a look at the northeast and the southern part of the state, and you'll see a big jump. A lot of the mountains are now uh, registering as only being in severe drought versus extreme or exceptional drought and up in the northeast as well so let's keep that up keep the moisture coming into the state nationally you can see that same change in the uh, intermountain west with relief in nebraska and wyoming and colorado most noted the precipitation just keeps coming for the mountains taking a look out west we have half inch to an inch over much of the mountains. The yellows are two inches and greater. And this is liquid equivalent. So this is not just snow depth. That's actually much more. It's probably 10 times that. That's some serious high altitude snowpack going on. The weather situation as we record shows a bit of a ridge over the west. And with northwest flow coming off the mountains, we're getting some downslope. So Tuesday and Monday and even early part of Wednesday are expected to be quite warm and gusty winds at times. In the water vapor satellite image with dry air down to the south across Texas, moisture coming into the west, you can see a bit of reflection in the cloud pattern of that ridge and the trough in the west and the trough out in the middle of the nation. Looking at Wednesday morning, our next front begins to push down the plains all the way into Texas. Nothing like the last front, so it's not that cold at all. And then it'll slowly push uphill towards the mountains as the day goes on. So for Wednesday, somewhere around 4 p.m., you should see with thick clouds, snow begin to fall or maybe rain at first, changing to snow if the temperature drop doesn't happen quick enough, on into about 5 a.m. Thursday. It's a pretty good hit, uh, but it's pretty localized, the Denver-Boulder region. Um, going further up near Red Feather Lakes, Fort Collins, not much. Going down around the springs, not as much either. It's a small-scale storm, just a little upslope period with some moisture. From Saturday into Sunday, we have more iffy chance of precipitation, but it, it still could happen. Our normal high temperatures are rising very significantly from 48 to 51 degrees over the next 10 days, taking us into the first few days of March, while the lows go from 20 to 24. So the nighttime average low temperature is starting to sneak up towards freezing. It'll be a while before we get there, but it's coming. So let's put the maps into motion for Wednesday and Wednesday noon. You can see this trough digging in, to giving us our chance of snow. Brief ridge followed by Friday and then into Saturday. A better trough gathers itself out west and swings over on Sunday. You can see how a lot of the energy goes down to the south. Looking at temperatures, you'll see some really good cold air up here in Canada, but it it's kind of transient it passes on by the mountains get cold a little cold into texas pools there again but nothing like last time there's the real cold by saturday you can see it kind of enters into the northern tier of states and starts to skirt onto the east while we get another front nothing big there's nothing unusual about uh, the fronts and the cold air supply this time around precipitation equally not very impressive you got if you blink you'll miss it so that was Wednesday, I already went by. Here's the th Wednesday, Thursday snow. Down it goes, gone. And then for the weekend, you see a little bit of showers come in, a little bit in the mountains, a little bit east of the mountains, 
and Saturday there it is right there and it's gone uh, going to Monday and Tuesday so these aren't big systems but if we get it right in our neighborhood then we get it right in our neighborhood over the next four days you can see the bullseye and the latest model runs even show it better right around four to three inches two inches just over by i-25 uh, the bullseye for the latest runs is a little tighter i just didn't get that into this uh, set of slides so I and mean, that really is southwest of denver the uh, palmer divide up to boulder is the peak snow region and we're on the edge of that now looking at the next 10 days the gfs goes kind of crazy with a foot of snow and more two feet of snow uh, through boulder and down to colorado springs and just hugging the western and southern suburb regions of denver we'll see if that happens i i don't see the storm that's actually making that yet so um hmm, I'm not, i don't know what's going on there but it was worth showing it and we'll see if there's a story to tell later so for the next seven days we cool quickly to the 30s for Wednesday. Maybe we'll be lucky to have some uh, warmer air in the morning. All depends when that front pushes uphill. Thursday's definitely chilly. Then we warm up a little bit for Friday and Saturday, getting to the 40s. Back to the 30s Sunday with, after the next front passes, giving us a snow chance on Saturday. A little bit of lingering stuff maybe on Monday, and we start warming back to the 50s. For frequent weather updates, and local news, check out longmountleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.